Okay, so what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and in this video I'm going to make a quick tutorial on this person, Michel Mullins. Now if you don't know him, he's a friend of Jared Ali, that's the best way you can know him. And he's mostly an Instagrammer than an YouTuber but he has a YouTube channel also. So for his YouTube channel, he made this particular kind of effect where there is a sudden gradation from a warm tone to the cool tone, such as this one. Or in another case, he changed the gradation of colors of a fire from the warmer tones to the cooler tones. Now I feel this is a very cool technique to be used for all of your videos and there are many ways to actually make this particular effect. But for this particular tutorial, I'm going to make this using opacity keyframes. So this is basically the effect which he has shown in his video and this is the effect which I have made from the stock footages. So let's get started. So this is the first thing which you need, you need a normal footage, whichever footage which you want, it can be any footage and then you need to edit the same footage in a different color. You can use the limitary scope of Premiere Pro or the color editing software of Final Cut Pro, you can do any other thing but make sure that you edit the same clip twice in different ways, one for the one color and one for the another color. So these are two footage which I'm going to use. So first in Final Cut Pro or in Premiere Pro, just place both the warm tones and the cool tones on top of each other and then after that this is for Final Cut Pro now the top one is the cooler one while the bottom one is the warmer one now cut the upper layer half and then go to the last frames go to around 5 to 6 frames before and set a keyframe to the opacity go to around the last frame set the opacity keyframe again and set it to 0 and then you are going to see this effect. Now if you feel that the gradation is very slow, you can right click, show video animation and then you can edit the keyframes here and then drag it to the right hand side to increase the speed and then click on the arrow button right here and then this will appear and then in the graph, right click and click on ease out. This will just speed it up at the end and then you can play with the points a little bit more and then this is the final result. So the same thing goes for Premiere Pro as well. In Premiere Pro also, set both the layers on top of each other, cut the above layer at such a position where you want to place the effect on, go to the above layer, go to the FS control panel, set a keyframe to the opacity, go to the last frame, set a keyframe again and set the opacity to zero. Now click on the animations where the keyframes are formed, select the first keyframe, right click and click on ease in and go to the last keyframe right click and click on ease out and this is going to just make the animation a lot more smoother so that is pretty much it for Premiere Pro as well now after editing and all those stuff this is the final result <laughs> 